The Bible has unique ways of comparing situations in life so that we can understand and put into words how we feel. Hi, I'm Craig Fritzley from the Sanctuary in Syracuse with today's devotional. In Job chapter 10, verse 10, as Job went through his trial and his test, his sickness and the loss of all his wealth and his children, and he said, Hast thou not poured me out his milk and curdled me like cheese? So God, I feel like my life's just been spilled everywhere. And the part that's still there has been churned so much that it's turned into curdled cheese. It's amazing how life has its twists and turns. And sometimes it's really tough. So I want you to know that God understands where you're at. He hasn't forgotten about you. He's going to help you through your situation. So just hang on. Just trust Him. Because sometimes we feel like curdled cheese. We feel like our life is just a waste. There's nothing there anymore. Everything's gone. But yet God works a process in our life to be able to restore and to rejuvenate and to create things that we can never create ourselves as His process works through trials and tribulations and tests. God wants you to hold on. He doesn't want you to give up. And he wants you to trust him. Because in those fiery trials, as James so describes, the Bible says we're refined. The impurities are taken away, and we come out on the other side as gold, pure gold. Gold that's gone through the fire, has been through the test, and even though we felt all stirred up in the process and didn't know if we were even going to make it, we'll come out better on the other side. Job said, My soul is weary of life. I will speak my complaint unto my, upon myself. I will speak in the bitterness of my soul. He had a tough life during these several months. He didn't know why all this happened. He just knew he was struggling. But when it came out on the other side, when God showed up, God blessed him with twice as much wealth. He blessed him with more children and he put his life on a different trajectory and God helped him to be able to come out a better man. And God's going to help you too. So just hold on. Just hang in there. God's with you. God hasn't forsaken you. And God might even be correcting some things in your life that's wrong to help you to become a better person. Don't stop the process. Let it work. Trust God and see what God will do. We hope you share these with others because God wants the encouragement of his word to go everywhere. Check out our website. It's listed below in the comments. God will help you. God will be with you. God's not forsaken you. Hang in there. Have a great day. God bless.